Chapter 1. Have you heard about the convention? This video is about the United Nations Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities. It tells you about your rights and how the convention protects your rights and how you can use the convention to improve your life. Have you heard about the convention? 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 Jenna, have you heard about the convention? No! Have you heard about the convention? 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 What are you asking me for? Have you heard about the convention? Have you heard about the convention? Why you keep asking me that for? Have you heard about the United Nations Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities? Hi, I'm Colin. Hi, I'm Paula Fison, Director. Hello, I'm Go Shepherd. Hi, I'm Leah. Hi, I'm Hannah. Hi, I'm Jenna. Hi, I'm Kim. Hi, I'm Davis. These are the members of Dream Theatre. They're actors. They will tell us about the convention. Who has heard about the United Nations Convention on the Rights of People with a Disability? I have. I have. I have. I have. Yeah, I no, yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, well, it's about um, a group of countries or nations that got together and um, stood up for um, persons with disability, their rights. What does it mean? I don't know. I don't know. There's people with um, disabilities in a meeting. People in the meeting wanting rights. Well, does that include me as well? I'm thinking. Am yeah. I included in it? Yes, yes. it does. Yes. Yes. yes, it does. You are included in it. Are there any other countries that are involved? Or yes. Is, yes. is it just yes. Australia? Not of America, yes. Australia. Powers in Victoria. No different countries. No different countries. Um, All different countries. California. There is about a million countries involved. There's not one. This is the Global Girl. She knows all about the convention. Jay and lots of other countries have agreed to improve the lives of people with disabilities. They signed an agreement called the United Nations Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities. The convention supports and protects the rights of people with disabilities. Sometimes it's just called the UNCRPD or the Convention. Australia signed the Convention in 2007 and agreed to start making these changes. Chapter 2 The Articles Bill and Duncan are housemates. What should they learn more about? The convention. Paul plays Bill. Davis plays Duncan. Now I've heard about the convention. And I also know it has a list of things that the government has agreed to do to improve the lives of people with disabilities over time. What sort of things are on that list? What are these things that the government has agreed should happen? Se c'è domanda se vi c'è una dice che 
Should be done. To make the Good. life of people disabilities better. Actually, it has a list exactly 50 items that the government should be doing. Okay, here are some of the items that are in the convention. Living independently and being included in the community. This means you have the right to live where you want. And how you want. Article 16. Freedom from exploitation and violence and abuse. This means you cannot be abused or hit or be treated cruelly. The right to an education. This means universities and schools should support people to learn. Article 5. To be treated equally and not be discriminated against. This means you cannot be discriminated against because you have a disability. Article 22. Respect for privacy, that means you. You have the right to keep things private. They should knock on the door, not just come in. Article 30. Participation in cultural life, recreation, leisure and sport. This means you have the right to join a sports club or go to a gym. Join theatre groups. Play the music. Or throw dancing. This means you have the right to do things that you enjoy. Article 25. The right to a good health service. This means we need to be treated equally when we're unwell. Article 15. Freedom from torture and cruelty and degrading punishment. This is really important. It means you cannot be treated badly. It means you cannot be hit or bullied. Article 21. The right to express your opinion and have access to information. That means that people with disabilities can say what they think. That the government should make sure you get the information the way you can understand. Yeah! Which is your favourite article? Colin, what's that you've got? This is the International Agreement on the Rights of Disabled People. Paul, what's your favourite article in the United Nations book? Uh, my favourite article is Accessibility number 9. I'm pointing it out by the picture because I can't read what it says on the page. Why is that your favourite? Because I don't have to walk up anything. Kim, which is your favourite one in the United Nations book? Respecting people and respecting their rights. It says here, disabled people are to be respected for who they are. You should respect other people and do not put them down. And do not discriminate them. And does that happen a lot, do you think? It happens all the time if you're different. Just right, Kim. Hannah, which one's your favourite one in the United Nations um, book? My favourite is the discrimination. Why? Um, because I think the people um, are badly discriminated. Hannah, has that ever happened to you? Yes, it has. At school. Um, people were calling me names. People wouldn't play with me at lunchtime or morning tea. Which is your favourite one in the United Nations book? Um, it's number three, the basic ideas, and it's number three down here, 
this this it's about um can you help me Hannah? Yes I think I can. It's the one Leo? Um yes that's the one Hannah. This is it's about disabled people have the same rights to be included in society as anybody else. Why do you think that should happen? Because I sometimes get treated like a kid sometimes. Kim, could you please tell me what Rose's favourite one is? Yep, it's no, page seven, number six, women with disability being, tripled, being treated equally. And it says, countries agree that women and girls who are disabled are treated unfairly in lots of different ways. Not there! Davis, which is your favourite one in the book? Uh, number 27, work. Disabled people have the right to work equal with others. Which is your favourite one in the United Nations book? No, mine. It's my choice. The Convention has a list of items that countries have agreed to do to improve the lives of people with disabilities. So the list of items in the Convention is called the Articles. There are 50 articles in the Convention and they are all about improving the lives of people with a disability. Making sure you are included in all the decisions about your life. Which articles are most important to you? In the next chapter, we will see how you can use the Convention to improve your life. Chapter 3 At Home At home, Bill tells Duncan about the convention. So this is the convention on the rights of disabled persons. This is so interesting. Convention on the Rights of People with Disabilities. Uh, why? Because the convention is supposed to improve the lives of people with disabilities. Will it make my life better? Well, Duncan, it says that people with disabilities should be able to live independently. That means, Duncan, you can choose where you live and who you live with. Isn't that what you want? You betcha. I really, really want to live somewhere else. Can I have a look at that? <laughs> So the government's agreed that all these things should happen? The government has signed the convention and agreed to do all those things. It also says that it's really important you are included in all the decisions of your life. That's right, Duncan. The UN says nothing about me without me. What are some of the things you'd like to do in your life? I've got to get a job. Being independent and making my own choices. One is own the farm. The other one is take over of responsibility when mum and dad pass away, but I won't be able to do the whole farm, so I have to get some people in to help me. I would live with my housemate and myself on top. Going to Melbourne with friends. I really want to travel the world. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of things I'd like to do, but I can't do them all because I'm only one person. Nothing about me 
without me. This means you must be included in discussions about your life. Other people can't make decisions about your life without including you. Remember, nothing about me without me. Chapter 4 How to use it The government's created all of this. Why isn't it happening? It is happening, Duncan. But it will take some time, I guess. But if you think that you're not getting your rights, there are still some things you can do. Well, let's make a complaint to the United Nations, huh? Complaining to the United Nations is the last stop, Duncan. First you must complain in your own country. First you must make a complaint to your workers, your service provider, your day service. You might want someone to support you if you have a problem. You can ask someone like an advocate to support you to make a complaint. If your complaint is about a disability service, you should contact the Disability Services Commissioner, the Victorian Equal Opportunity and Human Rights Commission, the Australian Human Rights Commission or the Disability Discrimination Legal Service. Is this the only way the Convention to make my life better? By complaining? No, you can use the Convention to help you get your rights, Dunk. You can say, hey, I know about the Convention and it says nothing about me without me. So I can say to my staff here, do you know about the Convention? Because I do. Article 19 says that you should be able to live independently and be part of the community. That's what I want. Why do you think it's important to have choices in your life? Um, I to make my own choice and I can't read my mind. And I need to make my own choices. Because it's my life. No one's going to take it away from me and I can do whatever I want to do. I can do anything. I can go I can go around the world, I can go on a cruise, I can do anything. And no one's gonna stop me. <laughs> it's okay to complain. In fact the government set up the Disability Service Commissioner just for that, and the job of the commissioner is to listen and try to solve complaints of people with disabilities about disability services. The number for the Disability Service Commissioner is on the back of this DVD. If you feel your problem was not solved or if your complaint is not about a disability service, then you or your advocate can also contact the Victorian Equal Opportunity and Human Rights Commission, the Australian Human Rights Commissioner or the Disability Discrimination Legal Services. Remember to use the Convention to help you to get your rights. Chapter 5 A Quiz About the Convention Now that you've heard about the Convention, see if you can beat Dream Theatre in this quiz. Who signed the United Nations Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities? A. Your family B. Catwoman C. The Australian Government The Australian Government The Australian Government And 100 other countries too The Convention has a list of rights. What are they called? A. The Things B. The Rules or C, the Articles. The list of rights is called the Articles. And there are 50 articles in the Convention. Can you name some of the rights of the Convention? It says we have a right to be part of the community. People with disabilities cannot be discriminated against. It says people with disabilities cannot be discriminated against. 
What is a short way of saying the United Nations Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities? A. The UNCRPD B. Underwear and nappies C. Human Rights Are some humans more equal than other humans? No! Human is more <laughs> equal than another human? No! Watch out, get away! If you'd like to know more about the PSST kit, contact Saru.